A Kitchener resident says he's extremely upset after dealing with road closures, congestion and construction, which caused him to miss his Toronto Waterfront Marathon event this morning that he had registered for. Leave home at about 5.30 in the morning from Kitchener, so figured that would be more than enough time. Andrew Mayer was registered to run in the full marathon event at today's Toronto Waterfront Marathon. The Kitchener resident had prepaid for a parking spot through the event at a garage near Roy Thompson Hall. He says due to multiple road closures, he wasn't able to get to the garage. Well, I just kind of went around in circles trying to find a way over. After driving around the downtown core for an hour, Mayer says at that point it was 8.15 and he missed the start of his event, which began at 8 a.m. Mayor says after gas money and registration fees, he lost around $200. And I thought, well, that's kind of silly to block it off in such a way that you can't even get across town. Like they're using up the waterfront already for uh, the race. I don't know why they couldn't either not go as far up or choose a bit of an alternate route or so, so that they don't cause so much congestion in the downtown. Meanwhile, organizers say it was their best event yet and that they had an extensive traffic plan and multiple measures in place to help racers navigate the city during the event with the closures, including an interactive map listing all the closures on their app and a hotline. We sent out about, I think it was 69,000 neighborhood notices to people that live along the course. We did door-to-door -door canvassing in key parts of, of the course and of course, we collaborate very, very closely uh, with the city and its agencies. Meanwhile, Mayor says he's also reached out to several city staff with his story and expressed his concerns. Uh, Olivia Chow to a number of the council members who were all in the, the different wards that are border on it and to uh, Doug Ford. We also reached out to the city, but did not hear back in time for broadcast. Meanwhile, Brooks says this year's marathon raised $3 million for local charities. In Toronto, Catalina Gilly, City News.